Hello everyone, Brett back again, Haptitude Scale Modeling. It's been a while since I've done an old school spur review, so I thought I'd do an old dragon kit. Just because, you know, dragon collectors, some of them get a little crazy. But I'm going to build this, and I'm going to open all the bags in the review. So the value, just going to plummet, but I don't sell my kits, so there you go. I love the look of this, I love winter schemes, because I live in the winter. And SDKFZ251-17 off D with 2 centimeter gun. So, this is a 2005 kit. These are what you get into it. Color scheme, some photo etch, bonus driver, brass rod indicators, decals by cartograph. There's some CAD drawings of what it looks like. You get that photo etch gun shield that's already built up. You get a you get a metal barrel? Yeah, you get a metal barrel. And you get the classic magic tracks. So got instructions. We got the old card they used to do, they don't do anymore. Magic tracks. One or oh, that's not in the bag. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hole. So might as well start with the one that's not in the bag. <clears throat> so there's the gun shield, the gun mount. Lots of nice delicate looking parts. There's your side markers in plastic. Your magazines. Magazine rack. That's nicely detailed. There you go. Used to be you could get dragon kits at a reasonable price too. Can't anymore. So yeah, you'll probably hear some people going, you can't open that. Don't. But I intend to build all the kits I have. Even the valuable ones. There's the hull, chassis, base, whatever you want to call it. Looks like they sanded out some ejector pin marks inside. Nice detail underneath. Nice detail on the sides. The tracks are gonna go. So that looks pretty good. And this I'm not gonna open, but just a little separate part. Figure you can see that. It's just one little part, so I open it. This one, however. is going to be open. So you got the top of the hull, the sides, the floor. Wow, the floor looks really good. The flash there, it just blew right off. Nice plating on the floor. Nice radio. A couple of good looking machine guns. Vector pins are all on the back side, out of sight. So, there's your hole with this nice detail. <clears throat> and some of the parts that go on the hull. The doors for the back. Radios, there's those guns, there's that beautiful flooring with its nice texture. Sides. There's the other side. See there's no ejector pins on the inside of these doors because you can pose them open. And 
and uh, we've got suspension parts, steering wheel, you guys just heard a dragon fan scream. Uh, leaf springs, headlight guards, some more doors, looks like some engine parts, there's some nice machine guns, do they have open barrels? No, they have indentations though. The cooling jackets look really good. Take a look at the guns. Headlight covers, the doors again, a steering wheel, part of the instrument panel. Do we have any burring on these parts? Doesn't really look like it. No burring on the steering wheel. This has got some nice detail on it. Again, doors without ejector pins on the side, they're all built in. So, they were thinking about that when they did this 15 years ago. <clears throat> this one's got two sprues in it. Stop! You're decreasing its value. It's of no value to me unless it's built. This end of the sprue is matching. So, we only need to look here. Another gun with a very good cooling jacket. Instrument panel. That's a bench seat made out of wood. It's beautiful. There's the armored sides. I got some detail inside of here. And possibly one, two, three ejector pin marks that may be covered, depending on where the parts go. There's the instrument panel. There's that inside. You see injector pins and then the mounting points for some of the stuff that goes in there. Another beautiful bit of old school dragon plastic. I haven't even looked at a dragon kit, a new dragon kit in forever. Hey, another one out in the bag. This is the main gun. And it does have an open barrel. If you don't want to use the metal barrel included, or you bought a later version of this kit that doesn't have the metal barrel. Here are matching screws again, I think. Yes, this part matches, and they cut that, that part off of one of them. So we've got a rifle. Jerry cans. You've actually got four rifles. Looks like some hosing. Detail parts. Some more very fine parts. I'm impressed that there's no burring on these. I think that's the front, or it's inside. Or maybe it's a skid plate for underneath. Yeah, like right there. You see that? Right there. So, good looking rifles, jerry cans, I'm guessing that's the driver's seat, and that's the back of the driver's seat, you can see the spring detail. Very nice detail on both sides, like this part, no ejector pins on the back side of that. And 
clear parts, but there's no need to open because they're mainly just lights and a couple of ports that are square. And we got more seats <coughs> that we do want to look at. And is that a control stick? Maybe. But the seats look very nice, both front and back. Because again, you have spring detail in the back. And nice padding detail in the front. And that control stick right there. And tracks and wheels. Now this comes with the magic tracks. So you won't, you may or may not use these, I guess that's up to you. Matching sprues, drive wheels, the actual tires for the front, and then tracks. Nice snap together tracks. There's your wheels, your tire, two piece tires. So, two of those, and that's it for the main spruce. So I can get these back in the bag. Alright, here's your magic tracks. I'm not going to open them because I'll lose them. I mean, I'd use these just simply because you don't have to clean them up. You just snap them together. I guess they're called easy tracks, not magic tracks. And the famous card. Dragon used to do these with all their good detail kits. So, <coughs> excuse me. Got some PE. You got some more PE with the brass. Um, I don't know what they're called now, but they go on the front of the truck, the width. You got some metal for the mirrors. Here is your correct scale thickness for the gun. And then there's another part for the gun. This soft plastic canvas tarp. Here is your driver figure. Looking good. Here's some more PE for various parts of it. Here are some decals. Here are some more decals. And I don't see the metal barrel anywhere. Not here, 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 here. Here. Let's say metal barrel, right? Let's see. Bonus metal barrel for KWK38 option. We'll see. Lost all its value anyway. It doesn't have its metal barrel. Just double check. No metal barrel. No metal barrel. No metal barrel. No. Oh, I guess that little part right there. That's the metal barrel. I guess we'll check the instructions and see if that's the metal barrel. Okay. So let's go. Dragon instructions. Typical dragon instructions. Screw map on the front. Blues you're not going to use. See, three right there. There's three of the metal barrel. Because there is no other picture of a separate metal barrel. Must be. So it does have a little bit of an engine. You're going to start with the engine in the chassis, the lower hull. Ah, here's your color callouts. Mr. Color, color callouts. You're going to build the wheels and the tires. Like I said, the bench seat parts, your other seats, instrument panel. There's some photo for the back of some of these seats. 
Let's just keep spreading out. There's your figure catching all the upper hull parts. Your gun ports. Your hood. Your part of your where your gun's going to mount. Headlights. Then the sides. And then your gun going together. And yes, that one part that I showed you is for that part of the gun. So you cut it. And you cut the barrel part off the end of it and you glue it back onto the barrel metal barrel part, which I don't know if it's that so much detail that that matters. Mounting the gun, mounting it in place using whichever one of the parts you want, the metal one that comes pre-folded. You can fold one or you can use a plastic one. Then you're adding your final bits, your gun, your tarp, your back guns. Color call out for unidentified unit Berlin 1944, Belgium, Yugoslavia, Germany, Luxembourg. Different color colors, different decals for different versions. HJ Division, Czechoslovakia, unidentified unit Hungary. I'm not paying attention. 12, 13, 14, 15. Where does it show building the tracks? It is nice how they you've got the ammo things. You can put the loose ones in there if you want. No tracks. 13. There, that sure shows you how to build the tracks. And then it just shows them on. Doesn't show you how to put them on. Alright. There you have it. A beautiful old school dragon kit. When Dragon was about making great kits. At a decent price. Throwing in a bunch of really nice dragon cards full of extras. Thanks for watching this old school spur review. If there's anything old school you'd like to see, please put it in the comments below. And if it's something I have, I can get around to doing an old school spur review. Thanks for watching. Sorry to all you dragon collectors, but I'm a builder, not a collector. So, have a good day. Stay safe. Stay healthy. See you all soon.